hey everyone welcome back to my channel i know i've been away but i'm finally back and we are kicking things off with a day in the life so starting off with a sleeping sick so i normally get up around 7 and 9 a.m so i go to the bathroom do the usual brush my teeth wash my face and then i make my bed and then I have my first breakfast, which is usually oats and some milk. And while I'm doing that, I like to put the dishes away from the night before. And I have it with some fruit. So an apple and an orange this time. And then I like to do my first work session. And I typically work for two to three hours before I start feeling peckish again. And then I'll have my breakfast, my second breakfast, which is just usually eggs and some toast or something. So this time I'm having eggs and cheese with some cucumbers. And then I do the dishes afterwards, clean up a little bit. And then I go back for my second work session, which goes from 12.30 or 1.00. So I'm just going to talk you through what I do for my um, fluid mechanics course. Um, so to revise, just kind of to remind myself of key things, what I tend to do is I refer to the textbook. So luckily my lecturer, he references the textbook and um, the page that we're referring to. So I go through it. Basically, the lecture notes are a summarised version of the textbook. I go through it, then I do the tutorial questions. And I thought I finished. No, I thought I didn't finish, but I was only left with like a little bit um, for the last question. Um, so to kind of keep track. So to keep track, um, just to help track myself. Um, I use a, what's it called? A spreadsheet. And basically, this is all the lectures, lecture note, problem sheet, homework. Sometimes we get extra homework. Um, basically, just to make sure that I'm doing um, what I need to do for my subjects. Um, so as you can see, everything that's in green means that I've done the work, I've revised it and I've done the question. Everything that's in orange means I haven't finished and if it's blank, I haven't attempted it. So these are all the problem tutorial or problem sheets or tutorial um, tutorials that I haven't finished. So I thought there was a lot here, but it's literally like the last bit um, of this tutorial that I need to do. Even if, I'd, even if I'm left with like a little bit of a question, I still mark it as orange, meaning that I need to go back and I need to finish it. And obviously there are 10 weeks per semester. So 10 weeks of lectures for each module. And then um, that's how I tend to track myself. So as you can see, I have it for all of the modules that I need to go over or I need to revise. Um, so for this one, um, what's it called? It's from last year, but I need to revise it for one of my other modules. So I have it for all of my modules. And then this is how I track myself and make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and kind of have an idea of where, where I am and what I've done, um, for example. So that's super important. I also, I think I'll show you what I did for my A-levels just to track make sure that I've revised each topic and make sure that I'm not revising a particular topic too much. Um, I used to have like a tally. I should probably have a tally for this, but um, I don't really use a tally. Um, I find that I don't need to use a tally for my uni work. Um, you, because it's mostly just physics, you tend to um, recall, actively recall the information by doing questions. So rather than revising a topic, I, I do more questions instead. Um, so since um, he refers to a textbook here, this textbook has way more questions. And since I've basically, I only have like one or two questions from each tutorial, tutorial 10, I didn't even finish the lecture. <laughs> tutorial 10, I haven't even attempted. Um, so once I finish these questions, because it's still quite a while before the exam, I'm going to do questions from the textbook um, just to help refresh my memory. And then, yeah, that should be good. Like the questions are very similar. They're from the textbook, so 
yeah that should be good so this is definitely this is one of the reasons why this is my favorite modules whereas for my other modules i'm referring to the textbook or other resources isn't as straightforward and you have to do a lot of application and a lot of um inferring um so yeah that's what i do so now i'm just gonna go i've got so many windows open damn where's the one that i'm looking to the textbook that we're using so this is the textbook we use so it says page 140 to 142 so i prefer to have continuous scroll just makes it easier what page is that 92 what page is this 124 Oh no, 142. So yeah, basically this chapter, this is, so you can see I've already gone through the chapter. I've made the necessary relevant notes. So I'm going to revise this chapter up until we finish, just to kind of remind myself because certain things I've forgotten. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to do the questions. So I wanted to talk you through my key so you can see on the page, um, it's highlighted all in different colours. That's because I have a key. And this is the same key I've been using since A-levels. So yellow just means reasoning or logic. Um, yeah, reasoning or logic. So basically just the, the reasoning behind why we do certain things. Pink is um, when you're looking at the method. Um, so particularly things that you have to pay attention to when you're looking at the method or when you're looking at equations or um, the definition of particular um, variables within an equation. Green is the method, so how you do this. So for example, here it says that if the density varies over the surface, then you have to use this integral. Um, but if the density and the velocity are constant over the surface, then you use this equation right here. Blue is for definitions. And what is another one? Purple are things that I have to pay attention to, things that I have to watch out for. So is there anywhere? Uh -huh. So I've used purple here. Um, so this is, so for example, this is telling me why. Um, it is the um, normal component. The um, velocity of V in the direction is the velocity in the direction of the normal component or um whatever angle that comes off the normal component so when i did this when i did the tutorial questions i never really understood why um it would always be the normal component of vn but now i've highlighted now i understand so this is something that i have to pay attention to because sometimes sometimes you're not gonna get um velocities um you're gonna get velocities um that deviate from the um normal component and sometimes you're going to get velocities that don't deviate from the normal component so you will need to um think about the angle in between so that's what i use purple for if that makes sense another thing that i do when i don't understand is i watch um lectures off of youtube so right now i'm watching a lecture from mit on dna replication because this is something for one of my modules but i don't really quite understand it so i decided to just watch a lecture to refresh and deepen my understanding um and yeah i know it's really helpful like this he's such a good lecturer the way he's laid it out now it makes so much more sense in my head so yeah this is just a tip that you know, YouTube can really be your lecturer sometimes if it's not clicking in your head and it's hard to get a hold of your lecturer. Like, this can be helpful. So, yeah, there you go. Primase actually doesn't make DNA. We haven't gotten there yet, but it turns out primase makes RNA. So, I'll work from one two three and then from four to six or three thirty to six depending on how much work i have and then once it's six o'clock i have a shower then i do some chores tidy up a little bit if i have some packages i go through some packages and sort them out 
if I have time, I go for a walk or a run. I found that that's really helped a lot. And just being in nature as well has just been really grounding. And then I'll make some dinner if dinner's not already been made. Um, so this time I have burgers and some mushrooms as well. And that day I was craving something sweet and something chocolate so I made some cake deformed cupcakes sorry <laughs> but they still tasted great so I don't mind and then I do my final work session so this can range from two to an hour two hours to an hour depending on how much time I have left in the evening and so I'll work and I typically like to use a timer just to keep track and make sure that I'm getting work done each day and then yeah, I get ready for bed and then I go to bed. And that is literally what happens during my day. That's how my days have looked like typically with regards to exams. So thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you again. And welcome to the new subscribers. I see you guys, I see you. <laughs>